Hey guys, JDiver GH22 here, Josh Taylor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to refill your Zippo lighter. Um, sorry, I was trying to get something off the lens. If you don't have a Zippo lighter, I would recommend them. Uh, they're a lot cheaper overall than constantly buying Bix. Like, uh, like the flick ones like this. Bix aren't the same. These are the really cheap lighters. But, uh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. See, they're really shitty. Um, and you're constantly having to go through these all the time. Or Bix. Gosh, my hiccups won't stop. Um, constantly going through these along with Bix is really annoying. Uh, I've actually had my Zippo for... <laughs> excuse me, almost a year, but they don't come with fluid because there's a law against it. Um, and I only just got around to buying some fluid uh, as well as some new flints. So today I'm just going to show you how to refill your Zippo. Um, they're very handy, they're windproof, like you can blow on it a little bit like lightly and it won't go out. Uh, this is what mine looks like. It's just the plain silver, as you can see, pretty cool. As you can see, the light is kind of flickering. I mean, it was, isn't, but it is. Yeah, you see the flames getting smaller, so I need to refill mine. Uh, but, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And also a quick trick to open it. Take your two fingers, index and your middle finger, hold it like that and go. And then, ouch, fail. <laughs> um, you're supposed to just snap it back and then it'll close, but that's not what we're here to do today. So, just a second. Let me try to figure out camera angle here. Okay, so I have my Zippo lighter fluid. Some people say that you don't have to use the Zippo brand, but it's recommended. Of course, I know it's probably just a money thing. Uh, them trying to get you more money, or get more money from you. But I figured I'd play it safe and buy the Zippo brand because it's not that much more than knockoff brands. So, first what we do to change... Uh, to add the fuel is to flip the top off. Then you're going to want to pop this piece up right here because that's what locks the bit or the Zippo into the case. And now we're just going to pull up and see um, this is the actual part of the Zippo that functions all the way. Wow, this is just the metal case that it stays in. And I just have the plain original one because I kind of like the simplicity of it. But I would like to get a black one with a rainbow skull on it soon. They have so many designs for these. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, as you can see there's some oil on the inside. Butane, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, so our next step is to flip it over. And you, as you can see there's a little cotton here. And you're going to want to grab a paper clip or something else that will pull that up a little bit. So, I don't really know what this thing is, but I'm going to use it. So as you can see, I'm just prying up the foam. Now you don't want to keep ripping because it's still kind of attached. But as you can see, you just got to lift it like that. And if you look in the inside, there's cotton. And what you want to do is you want to take your lighter fluid and get it open first. Actually, first of all, they say to put it, when you refill it, they say to put it back in the case, like this. Because it keeps it held easier and it keeps it balanced, so you don't have to hold on to it. So, 
open the Zippo container. You're going to lift that up with one finger and you're just going to lightly put fuel in until the little cotton's wet enough. Sorry, you can't see that much. But you want to saturate it pretty well, just don't overfill it. Um, and then we'll just replace the um, cotton. And now, all we have to do is flip it back over, lock it in place, and voila! We have a much bigger flame now, as you can see, because there's more butane in it than there was, and I was getting low. But as you can see, it's pretty strong. That's why they call them windproof, because they don't go out like most lighters would. So, there's that. And next, I will be showing you on a different video how to change the flint. Which... If you didn't know, the flint is a vital part of the Zippo, and if you don't have it, your Zippo will not work. Um, I remember I had taken this one apart just to look at it when I first got it, uh, not realizing that it didn't come with fluid or anything, and my flint actually popped out. And so I had gotten some lighter fluid, but it wouldn't work, and I discovered that was because my flint was missing. So I got a flint and put it in, and it works fine. So in the next video we will be showing you how to change the flint on your Zippo lighter. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and like. Um, and also please follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, um, Twitter, and Tumblr. And thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you have any video ideas that I can do, let me know. Um, I still don't have a really good computer, so I can't edit videos, unfortunately, other than if they're on YouTube, under the YouTube editor, but I can't edit them on the computer, so thank you guys for watching. Peace out.